this is a horrible time of year. There is so much stuff being heaped on you all the time. So here are a few different ways that you can cope with exam stress. The first thing that is vitally important for you to remember is that if this all goes horribly wrong, you will be okay. You will, I promise. It may not seem like it at the time, it may seem horrible, it may seem stressful, but you will be okay. If you don't get your grades, you have lots and lots of options. And these letters, these numbers that you're going to be getting, do not define who you are. They do not define your wealth as a person. They do not define how important your contribution is. They do not make you a good person. They do not make you a bad person. They're important, but they are not the most important thing about you. You are so much more than these letters. You are so much more than the results that you're going to get. If your results aren't what you wanted, don't forget that you have lots of options and they do not define your worth as a person. So how can we reduce the stress? Because stress is something that's going to make your exams harder. Number one is get organized. Now I know this is going to sound counterintuitive because getting organized is going to take time, time that you can't be studying. But it is so, so important that you know what you need to study when you can study it and when you need to study it by. If you're not good at making timetables or you don't want to spend the time making the timetable, use your school timetable. They made a timetable for you. So if on a Friday afternoon you're supposed to be doing maths, on a Friday afternoon doing maths, it may not be fun, but studying really is. Look after your brain. Study in small chunks. Your brain doesn't like sitting in one place doing the same thing over and over again for hours and hours and hours. It will get tired, things won't go in as well. Study in small chunks and give yourself breaks. So um, 25 minutes of studying, five minutes of when I come downstairs or something like that. Or go and make a cup of coffee or go and put a load of washing on. But study in small chunks, break it up. If you wanna do two hours of maths, it is better to do four half hour blocks spread over four days and it is to do two hours in one big chunk. Having the overnight in there will give your time a brain time to absorb the information. It will go in better, it will stay in better. Three, make sure you take time to relax. I know again you feel you should be spending all of this time studying but it is really really important that you take some time out from studying to relax. So um, go and get some exercise, go to the cinema, um, spend some time with some friends doing um, exercise. Uh, Team America is one of my favourite films ever because I went to see it with a really, really large group of friends um, while we were studying for our finals at university. I can't even remember what night of the week it was. But we all studied up to this point, went out, watched the film, went back home, studied some more. But that two, three hour break that I had was so valuable that even after all these years, it's still one of my favourite films because of the circumstances in which I saw it. Four, do not dwell on things that have passed. If your last exam was a disaster, then that's a shame. But there's nothing we can do about it now. It is in the past, it is over. What we can do something about is the next exam or the one after that. But if your head is so caught up in how badly the last exam went, then you're not gonna be able to focus on doing well in the next exam. So things that have passed have passed. There is nothing we can do to change them now, but use what you've learned from those exams. Was it exam technique? Was it timing? And apply those to doing well in your next exams. Do not compare yourselves with other people. Just because your friends stayed up to two o'clock in the morning doing five solid hours of maths does not mean that you need to as well. Do not think about how much study you've done and compare it with how much study someone else has done because the way your mind works is that you're going to put yourself in a negative light which isn't going to be a good attitude for going into the exams. What you do is great, what other people do is great. They may be the same, they may be different but do not compare yourselves. There are loads and loads of small things that you can do to look after yourself. Getting a bit of exercise, um, making sure you have a good breakfast if you're not fasting, having some snacks around with you, um, eating healthy breakfast, so Weetabix as opposed to a Mars bar, drinking enough water, getting enough exercise, getting enough sleep, 
prioritizing time to look after yourself, prioritizing time to relax. And then lastly, remember that you are not alone. You are not doing this in isolation. Your friends are going through the same thing, so talk to them. Your teachers have been doing this for years, so talk to them. And there are people, trained people, who know what to expect at this time of year, waiting on the other end of a phone call. So if you do feel yourself getting overwhelmed, so if you do feel yourself getting really, really stressed, talk to somebody please there is no situation that we can't help you through there is no situation that is so bad that there is no solution to it um so i know this time of year is really really horrible i know this time of year is really really stressful um it's not just you that feels the stress all of us are feeling the stress as well um so good luck guys i'm going to be there every single step of the way with you ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.